Okay, looking at this, um, I think it's an easy cool or something. Uh, easy cold unit. It's on a freezer. Um, what I found is Live 2 is not making its way through the contactor and the compressor's off on, on its uh, internal overload. I've just heard it reset. Well, I think I am at a click. So, uh, oh, I've got a spider. Little assistant. So I've bypassed Live 2 on the contactor. Um, it's a bit of a time delay, I think. It's probably a minute. I'll set on 30 seconds. Let's, uh, let's wind that down to bugger all. See if it'll come straight on. Oh. There we go. Next one is uh, four point something, I think. Can't see in there. Can't see what he says. and the room is at about 15 degrees so it's going to be working stupid hard um, just to get everything um, down to uh, temperature. I can't read that. I've got... Oh, no, no, that's um, a 60 Hz rated low down. I can't quite read it. Check it, make sure I've got everything in the right place. Um, but to join them two together, because the factory diagram they start they start the control circuit on the contact on the overloads, live in, live out, and then it goes off to the pressure switches. And on these ones, they're designed for the live to come in here, and then it goes straight out onto the um, comes in here, 96, and then comes if. It could come out at 95, but they have a little wire down here. If you don't cut it off, you can put it into here. It goes straight onto the coil. So we've linked them out. And then that was the coil feed from the old one, which went in at the top, but we've put it in the overloads. So instead of being at the start, that's at the end. Anyway, we've just got to make sure we've got all the wires in the right place, and then we'll try it. Okay, I've got that wired in. I've got six. I had to extend that one. It wasn't long enough to reach. Um. I think we've got about a minute delay on that until that starts. So uh, we'll see what it does. Contacts. That was the one that was burnt. Um, just that one, the second one in that side. I've actually found, I think that, that little contact there on that one's actually fallen off. Yeah. So I actually found it in the bottom when I moved the contact, it fell out.
rated. One I put on is rated for seven and a half horsepower, and that's a four on three phase. Top down, I think. Right, just turn the controller off inside, so it will pump down, just to confirm we've got the control circuit wired correctly, and it will go off on the pressure switch. Um, I've already pressed the uh, stop button in, which disconnects the overload, um, and that dropped the contactor out, so we know that part's wired right. But, uh, so we've, we've checked the pressure switch is working okay. And um, we're just waiting on the controller to cycle on again, solenoid to open, and then uh, be a minute delay on that timer. the uh, make of these things. Right, I've heard the um, LP switch. I heard the solenoid click. All right? Yeah. So we're just waiting for this to start up.